Now it's time for University of Nebraska basketball. Tonight's game between the University of Nebraska and Kansas is brought to you by the American Dairy Association and Franklin Furnace Company. And now we switch direct to Jack Payne and Tom Johnson in Lincoln. The Huskers are home, the opponent Kansas University, the old field house is packed in here tonight. This is Jack Payne along with Tom Johnson at the Coliseum on the campus of the University of Nebraska. We have about 8,000 fans here and I dare say that hardly a Jayhawk is among them. This is a big one for Nebraska, standing 5-5 five and five in the Big 8 Conference. Kansas going 9-1 and one, and with an ear, I'm sure, and an eye attentive towards Columbia, Missouri, where Kansas State, with a half a game lead, will be playing the Tigers this evening. In the preliminary game, Nebraska's JVs defeated McCook Junior College 91-71. to Nebraska comes in 12-10 and 10 on the year. They have beaten Missouri and Oklahoma State back-to-back, -back, have a two-game winning scheme going in the conference 5-5. Five and five. They have been beaten by this Kansas team 75-66 to and 79-64 to in the two basketball games played up to date. Kansas won that first one in the preseason tournament at Kansas City and had to come off uh, of a deficit at halftime to turn the tide. KU was just excellently hot from out front, well-balanced in scoring, and really riddled Nebraska's zone defense in that uh, game we had at Lawrence to open up the season. Nebraska is scoring at 68.8 points a game. Kansas is about eight points better, 76.8. The Kansas defensively giving up 68.2. Nebraska giving up 68.6. So you look at it in reality, Tom, and the way that the young men of Nebraska has been coming here of late, this could be a ball game. It's going to demand the most of them as the blue-clad lads from the land of the car take to the floor here in the land of the Big Red. The officials, Harold Aldrich, he'll throw the ball up, Jim Bain and Kent Kurtz. As you face your radio dial, KFAB Omaha, NBC for the great Midwest, Jack Payne with Tom Johnson at the Coliseum in Lincoln. The Huskers will be going to your left, KU will be coming to the right. Danny Knight, 6'10", in against Larry Cox, 6'6", and the game will be getting underway. A big one for both. Tap is up, tapped around. KU has it in the backcourt. Cavisto, forecourt right. Novak moves out on the man-on-man -man and picks up Cavisto. Husker fans stand until the local team scores. Cavisto looks down the middle on the man-on-man. -man, off out to the left side of Greenlee. Greenlee back to the tip of the post to Cook. Cook, ball taken away by Urban, grabbed up by Cavisto. Huskers are really ball hawking. They're playing desperate basketball. Driving inside for a layup, coming in and missing. That time was Danny Knight. Greenlee pulls the ball off. So the Huskers pull the ball down. They'll be moving forecourt to the left with Novak carrying it off on the right side in the back line. Looking to the right wing, the Jayhawks are out tenaciously pecking away on that man-on-man. -man. Irwin to the far right corner, Novak shot up, in. Novak firing a one for one. Had an infraction coming up. Had a foul too, Jack. That basket didn't count though. A pushing infraction, they're going to nullify the basket. So the pushing infraction took place down underneath the hoop on Cavisto. When Tom Novak went alone to the right corner, shot and hit, wipe out the basket, give Nebraska the ball, forecourt left, baseline right side, long lob in the back lane, going back to get it is Brindy Lee, Covisto just chases him back, off to fort, left wing to Novak, to fort, exchanging the ball over KU zone to the far right side, Novak inside there, comes back to fort on top for the shot, this one's in. Jerry Fort. 18 points to tie Herschel Turner for eighth place in seasonal scoring in Husker history. Cavisto takes to the left wing, gives off over there to Morningstar. Morningstar, with Irvin guiding, comes to the left corner, shot at our corner up on its way, put up a Greeley, no good, rebound to Knight. Knight puts it underneath the cook, stolen away by Novak, and trapped into the ball against Tom Novak. Huskers turn the ball over after a steal underneath. That's the second turnover against Nebraska. Forecourt to the right, baseline to the left side. This place is packed here tonight and noisy. Cook takes the ball out. Norm Cook, 6'9", freshman, looks, lobs the back line, back in at a morning star. Comes off to Cook, Cook on the right corner, starts driving in right of the circle to Knight. Knight reaching over his Cox. Cox fouls him. Larry Cox fouls. Danny Knight, the pivot man, posting to the right side of the lane. KU will take the ball out of bounds. Joe Cipriano is up to have a word with Harold Aldrich, which has not been uncommon this year around the Big 8 Conference where Joe has been. To 
15-12, Huskers by three. Ford on the left wing, starts going out, and we've got some overguarding done here. Harris on a foul, backing into Suttle. Now, that's a bad, bad foul. Harris turned his derriere right into Suttle and drove him backwards when the Huskers had the ball. So this means you've got to give up the basketball. And Hus Harris has several factors about playing that defense on the inside. He did this the other night. That's six turnovers. Six, seven freshmen. He'll probably come back here and make a great play or two before this game is over, though. All right, Cavisto inbounds against Marsh. Cavisto moves to the right side in the back line, travels with the ball. Cavisto comes to a halt, gives the ball up. Tommy, I mean, that's 11 turnovers, isn't it? Six, Nebraska, five, Kansas. So far. So far. All right, 8.06 to play. Clock shows that. 15-12 on the board, low scoring. Marsh and Fort exchanging in the backcourt. Cavisto and Greenlee, the two KU guards, down the floor. KU trying to make it three in a row a sweep this year. Nebraska did that to them last year. Got 99 points on them here two years ago. Fort on top, shooting. Good from the right side. Jerry Fort finds the basket. Huskers go up 17-12, 7.45 to go in the first half. Over the timeline, Cavisto and, her, and uh, Marsh. Cavisto had it knocked free. Cavisco fakes right, goes left, top of the key, feeds to Morningstar, left of the circle. Suttle hits the deck on top. Cavisto, his shot is short, coming down with the ball underneath and a scramble inside. Brindy Lee, Tommy Smith, the 6'4 junior, leaps sky high that time. Brindy Lee draws a personal foul deep down on the inside. Now, we've got 16 fouls on Nebraska. Bob Siegel getting ready to come in, and uh, Steve Irwin will be coming out. If anything could hurt Nebraska tonight would be fouls. Cox has three, Lee has two. Ball inbound to Siegel by Ricky Marsh. 17-12, Nebraska. Marsh drives fast on Greenlee, gives the left corner Siegel's first shot tonight. Off the iron, no good. Harris taps it to Siegel on the baseline. Bounce back down, this to the left side. Brindy's got it. Lee gives to Marsh. Marsh dribbles over to the right side, has a look. Gets to the corner, bounce the post to fourth. Fall away baseline, Jerry's got it. They're working the baseline on Kansas on that zone and beating them there. 19-12, crowd really going wild. 6.46 to go in the first half. Nebraska leads it. Cavisto, left wing to Cook. Cook looks, drives out, left to the key. Cook to the left side to Morningstar. In there to Knight, a turnaround jumper, up and off. Rebound to Siegel. Siegel starts down the floor, holds it up in the backcourt, Huskers control the ball. By seven, Nebraska, 6.25 to go. Marsh drives on Greeley, goes into the full court here on the left side, reverses, stops on top, feeds left to Fort. Fort gets set, drives out, down goes Cavisto. They're going to foul Jerry Fort for charging. Cavisto went the drama school route that time and rode the charge of Jerry Fort, fought the foul. Jerry Fort forces Nebraska to give the ball up. KU gets the foul, they get the ball, they trail 19-12. This crowd, partisan, listen. Cavisto, left side of the key to Morningstar. Back it goes to Cook, left of the key. Shoots, shot blocked, blocked by Ricky Harris. Grabbed off by Siegel. Siegel gives to Jerry Fort. Fort takes it. Right side to Marsh. Lobs the baseline, Harris. Harris waiting for that first shot. In the corner to Fort. Back outside to Siegel. Drops it inside to Harris. Knocked down by Knight. He reached over him and knocked it down. And KU wants timeout. KU gets the ball. Knight reached completely over the shoulder of Harris on the right side, reached over, knocked the ball down. They rule no contact, no foul. KU gets the ball. They call timeout. 5.44 to go. 17, uh, rather 19 to 12. Tommy, it's a wild one, Nebraska Legion. 